Maria, Maria. She's living a life just like a movie star. I wanna make sure that I'm like, you know, and also. I'm just gonna put my phone on. No, I will not. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope I'm in the middle. Also, I feel like no matter how many times I do this, I will never get used to like speaking to people on camera. But I will. But you know what's crazy is that before I actually do come here and speak to you guys, I'm always like, no, I'm going to go there and I'm going to speak like I'm on Last of Fame and say, a very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. I am Blinky and you're listening to my YouTube channel. Anyway, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Blinky if you're new to this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, that means you're a Blinky. Thank you so much for coming back. Also, I feel like I owe you guys an apology because I'm just going to insert something yeah i feel like i owe you guys an apology man i wasn't able to post on the other sunday because of unforeseen circumstances i am having issues with my phone owns and i am not financially like cute to get a new phone at the moment but yeah i'm really fighting you know what's crazy is that i always feel bad when i do not post so you guys do not feel like I'm not posting and I'm just chilling and living my best life. I'm always cautious about because usually Saturdays, the night before, I'm there busy trying to get a title, trying to put a, a thumbnail and all that. And then when I'm actually not doing anything, I feel bad because I'm like, I did not post anything on my channel, which makes me feel quite bad. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, man. So I'm just, I don't know. I guess I do also like the pressure, but at the same time, it's also making me feel bad because there's nothing I can do, Owens. I don't have a daddy. No, I have a daddy, but I mean like, I don't have a zaddy. <laughs> to actually like, get my stuff done and get it fixed early. But anyway, today I'm going to do the get to know me video because I feel like it's long overdue. Also, I remember when I said I'm going to start a YouTube channel, I said I'm not going to start with a get to know me because I feel like I don't know, I just felt like it was a weird way to start off, but then now is the right time and I'm going to answer a few questions. I put out a question sticker on Instagram on the 6th, 6th of April. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm basically just going to answer the questions. Oh. Ah, the first question. Oh, the fish. Sorry, the first question is from Jonas911. Do I have to mention you guys' names? I'm not going to mention your names. I'm just going to basically like answer, read the question, and then I'm going to answer. So, just wait, the channel is not loading anymore. You see. Okay. Mm. The first question is, is it possible to create a WhatsApp group for the Blinkies? I don't know. That's that's like a really good idea. It's a cute idea. But also, I'm very... I don't know how to say this. But then I'm not... A, I don't like to give my number out just like that. Because I feel like WhatsApp especially is very intimate to me. You know, be it my statuses. You know, when I'm putting something on my status, I'm very particular about the people who are seeing it because it's like a diary for me, man. I get to go vent and just be, yeah. So for me, it's more or less for like a more, I don't know. But it, for me, WhatsApp is not as broad as Instagram. Random people can follow you on Instagram. But for me, my WhatsApp is a bit too intimate for me. So I feel like a group will not make sense. But then also, I'm not entitled to save your number, but also the idea of somebody giving my number. I don't know. Maybe not now. At 10K subscribers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the day I reach 10K subscribers, but yeah. I think that's like something we can do in the future, but not now. 
but also what are we going to do in the group are we going to say oh my girl you not post or please fix your sound also i want to say i am like i don't know like i'm trying to be like a really i'm working in terms of like my content creation and all that so i'm trying to like get my sound fixed by getting like um a wireless speaker you know upgrading my phone also small things like that i got a tripod i have a, a ring light small things like that where i'm just trying to enhance my content creation and just to make sure that i give out content that is of quality so yeah in the future i need you guys to know that i'm really working on some of these things and you don't have to mention them i also see them but because of circumstances i'm not able to like immediately work on them fix them or change them so i'm just working with what i have at the moment you know and i feel like the more i dwell on what i do not have that's like it's going to keep me stagnant or it's going to keep me or limit me from actually deciding to create content just because i feel like i don't have a speaker a wireless speaker then i'm like oh i cannot create content because people will not hear me but then you can partially just increase the volume for now to me increase the volume anyway the next question is asking do you go to work or maybe like have a part-time job or something i don't go to work i don't know how the six or seven to five situation works i don't go to work to have a part-time job i don't necessarily know i don't have a part-time job i would say i do like side jobs i do side hustles yeah, I hustle. I'm a hustler. I do like, I earn, I feel like on the side how I try to earn money is basically like do side piece jobs, be it content creation. I try to make money through my, my social media platforms, be it TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know, when somebody's like, I'll pay you to do something for me. I also dance, you know, and I charge people for things like that for dancing because I feel like I've reached a point where i would say i have an audience and i am a brand on my own i'm still growing but i am a brand and so i feel like i am allowed to say no i'm charging you this to have me in your situation you understand but yeah i just do side things bram creative director yes i also create content not only like not only like when somebody's like oh hi can you please do this for me but also it could be a thing of like me just coming and maybe i also shoot the video for you but i'm not in the video i'm just directing the whole thing maybe or so but it's just side jobs guys like whatever side thing you can do i was doing that covet thing bruh when i was posting those covet things you were probably judging me but show me i'm making money on the side huh? i'm making money and it's just you know to keep me busy also like to have different sources of income so that you are able to also like i don't know bruh like sustain yourself, look after yourself in varsity so that you're able to like but like cover extra things that your parents cannot cover or that your allowance cannot cover or so. Seeing that I'm even in a space where I'm like I want to to invest in my content, where will I get that money from? You know, it's from the small side things that I'm doing. If I save up I'm able to then buy equipment or so that I can invest in my work. Yeah. I hope it makes sense. I don't have a question today. Just want to compliment you, man. You are a good dancer. Thank you. Also, I'm very awkward. I don't know how to act towards like compliments. It's not a good thing. Also, it's not like a cute thing because then somebody's like saying something nice to me, just like this. It's not good, but I'm working on it. But also, like, I'm I'm definitely grateful. You know, I'm appreciative when I do get a compliment. But also, I'm just like, how do I respond to that? Yeah. Where did you attend your high school? Some wise words to us beginners. What do you mean like beginners in what? Beginner in high school? Beginner in... In what? In dancing? Or what exactly? I'm not sure. But like... What bra? What are you beginning? I would say the only, based on like me not knowing exactly what you're beginning in, I would say the only wise words I have is start, brah. Start, you know. Because sometimes you have the idea of saying, I want to do this, I want to do that, but you're just sitting and you're like, you're not actually acting towards it. I would say start. Ow, oh, and I really don't know what to say, brah, because me, I don't know what you're beginning with, but we'll talk about it in part two. If we have part two, I feel like part two will be done like maybe when I'm at a certain 
level of subscribers or so because i feel like people do change as time goes by so that's when you can do another get to know me situation and then you ask me which are oh a beginners wise words for beginners then i can give you now but you must now tell me which are beginners in what in makeup or in what because i don't do makeup but yeah the next question is where did you why did you decide to get locks I decided to get locks because I've always wanted locks my home. I have an auntie and she has locks and I just felt like she looks so beautiful with her locks. And I remember and I looked up to her so much and I loved her so much and I was like, I also want to get locks. So I've always wanted it and I, and I remember her telling me she's going to get my hair done and she's going to lock my hair. But because of the school I went to in the north, they didn't allow for that. You can only braid. Not even the school. I, I feel like the primary school was even fine. It's just the high school which was acting a bit funny. Which was weird because there was a girl who had locks. But because she's related to the principal, I guess, she was not told anything. But the rest of us cannot get locks. That's why I don't talk about that school. The next question is, what's your goal in life? I don't have a goal. I don't think, I, and this is quite sad, but I'm thinking of it now. As I evaluate myself to say I don't have any goals at the moment but I would say one of the goals I do have is that I become a person who is perfect or like who is acceptable in God's eyes you know pleasing in God's eyes that's the one thing I would say I've been working on or working towards that's something I'm very consistent with in my head in terms of goals but other than that I'm not sure I do have and I probably should do something about it, like go, right, what are my goals? What am I working towards? Even when I say I'm investing in my content because I'm trying to achieve what exactly, you know? So that's something I can think of. But I really don't have, to be honest. Ask this. Suck. The next question is, what course are you doing? I am studying health information systems management. What course are you studying again? Just want to be a chatmate. I don't believe in chatmates because I believe that my WhatsApp is a bit intimate. And I just feel like it's, it's just, yeah, I already explained. So I don't believe in them. Then somebody said, I love your locks. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm also like learning to love my locks so much. And even with the idea of me venturing into working with Native Child, just, just a thing of like I'm in a space where I am going to love my hair more and show it so much love and just... You know, and working with a hair brand includes loving my hair because you're going to have to use that hair brand. It means you take time to moisturize your hair, to look after it and all that. So I'm also learning to love it, to be honest. Um, it's not a question, but I love the way you dance. Thank you so much. Somebody asked, is Kandea your best friend? No, Kandea is not my best friend. And I think I said this before in one of our videos. I think with her, Kandea is not my best friend. I don't believe in best friends. I had a best friend in like grade something like a small grade man those young grades four three five somewhere there and my best friend and i had some like something happened and me i was not even in the situation and then homegirl when we we're being asked in class about oh yeah no you were there i'm like no man i don't even see what was happening then homegirl was most crying because she got beaten but me also got beaten because apparently i don't know what happened and then she wrote me a letter and said no i'm come i'm not an friend because i don't send up for her and i'm like to me i was not there i was not there at all and me, i've got that broken bruh because i just feel like why should you feel like our friendship should end because of that and ever since that i've never had a best friend because i just don't believe in them because i feel like if we are best friends why then do you feel like a small thing like that should be the reason why we end our relationship if that makes sense but yeah i don't believe in best friends i don't believe in that how is your relationship with god that's the next question my relationship with god is beautiful it is beautiful because i'm in a space where i'm trying to put god first i'm in a space where i try to behave i try to handle situations in a manner where i'm like okay but how would god think of me at the moment or how would god want me to deal with the situation in a space where i'm trying to get to know god because most of the time it's just a thing of it's you it's you you read the bible when it when it suits you you know it's about you it's you and god but never do you ever make time to say okay let me get to know god because the bible is god's heart that is god's heart that consists of all the stories that have happened you know that's where god speaks to us and all that but when do we actually make time to say i want to get to know god not because i want him to help me with the situation but because i'm just going to sit down and say i'm making time to get to know god and understand why i think like this you know and understand 
who said am I supposed to be? How did I end up here? How did we end up in a world where they seem, you know? I don't know if I'm making sense, but I would say I'm really having a good relationship with God. I am really in my, I mean, that era. I'm doing very good. I'm doing very well, you know. I'm overcoming a lot of things. I'm working on things. I'm changing a lot of things about myself. And I feel like outside people are probably not able to see it. But God is able to see it. Those who are very close to me are able to see that there are certain aspects of me that have changed. And yeah, and that's because I'm not changing to say I'm pleasing people because people don't even matter like that, you know. People change. They are not consistent in how they, they love you or how they feel for you. But God will never change. God will always love you. Even if you flop, he will still say I care for you. So my chat is I'm trying to impress him, you know. And how are you going to impress him? By behaving in a manner that pleases him by behaving according to what he wants you to behave as, as in the Bible. There I was completely cut off. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next question. Are you and Aunia related? I don't know which Aunia you're talking about. If you're talking about this Aunia, I'm going to put my, my, I almost said my chomi. I'm going to put my cousin's photo here just so you check if it's a, it's kind of weird. But yeah, if you're talking about that Aunia, then yeah. That's the only Aunia I know in my family, to be honest. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do have siblings. Where did you school? In primary, I went to Shakati West Primary School. My primary school matters. They did a lot of... They did a lot of amazing things to me. Carve the toes. <laughs> want to say this in your blog i love you blink thank you so much i love you too nella i you know a part of me never really like to say i love you to people especially oh and the day and i man especially strangers just because i felt like i don't love them and i'm lying but i'm supposed to love people like i'm supposed to look at people and say i love you despite you being a stranger because only then am i able to treat you with kindness and you know, because when you love somebody, you're considerate of them. I don't know if you understand, guys, but me, I'm just really changing the whole, my whole mindset, the way I act. Not act, but the way I think also. Please, can you make dancing tutorials? That's definitely something I'm going to be doing on my channel. That's something I'm working on. I'm just trying to see how I can go about the logistics, but I'm in the works of it on my channel now. But... I'm also thinking of doing it also on TikTok and maybe like YouTube shorts, but I want like a proper video. I'll show you how I want to go about it on YouTube. What are you studying? I already mentioned that. Do you think of getting a tattoo? No, I'm not going to get a tattoo. I always thought I'll probably get a tattoo that actually means something, but I'm not getting any at all. I'm good. What is your body count? Zero. I don't sleep around. Me, I don't do those demonic things, but if you are doing it for me, it's okay. It's okay to me, understand. Maybe sometimes you are trying to make an income. <laughs> Guys, let's leave that situation. Are you monetized? If yes, how much do you make? I am monetized. I don't make money. Have you ever dated before? No. I feel like if you've seen a number of my videos, then you know some of the answers to some of these questions. Who's the friend that you would keep forever? I would love to believe that I'm able to keep all my friends forever. But also I've learned that people grow apart. It's so scary, bruh. Like, it's so scary. But I've noticed it, you know, to say that sometimes you grow apart. And it's not because you want to. Because you are forced to. But just because it's bound to happen. And sometimes it's gradually happening. And I hate the idea of that. But I would generally love to say that I would love to keep all my friends forever. Because if you are my chummy, then... That's because you probably mean something to me, you know, you play an important aspect of my life. So, yeah. Are you studying media? No, I'm not studying media. And so many people always think I'm studying media. I remember in the beginning of the year, people were asking me about media. I don't study media. I wanted to, but unfortunately I'm not. And I am grateful to say that despite not having studied it, I'm still able to like venture in that industry some way, somehow. Um, can you... 
put you can you put you in a i think you wanted to say can i put you in a chops this guy hmm. my birthday is on the 16th of january somebody asked when is my birthday um we want you to upload a morning routine or a day in my life please do this for us i will do that when we fix the phone situation but i will bra me let me tell you guys something you guys take these things for granted me one thing about me i go all out for you guys it might check like bay minimum it might check like oh the girl is not serious me but i work so hard and sometimes it does not work out but it's a thing of like it's always in my mind dog it's always on my head which i have to fight for my blinkies I wish you guys knew. And one day I'm going to speak about it. One day. <laughs> one day I'll give you my YouTube testimony. We want you to upload a morning routine. Or, okay. Oh, it's the same thing. Something you've accomplished that you never would would have imagined you would. So many things, bruh. <laughs> so many things. And this does not even have to be like physical stuff. You know. I think for me in terms of like growth. There's, there are just so many things. I never thought I would do or so many things I never thought I would become like even to say maybe there's something about myself that I've changed for me that's like a huge thing because I'm like I never thought I would change that aspect of my life but then also it's a good thing that I've changed it because now it was a limitation in my life or so so that's an accomplishment for me but it doesn't necessarily always have to be things like yeah I flew out of the country or something but for me it's so many things bra. I'm also learning to take things, you know, I'm learning to appreciate even the small little achievements and celebrate them. Even now that I'm able to shoot a video and I'm able to post it, it's an achievement for me, to me. Not a question, but I am a big fan though. I love you, me. Thank you, Chomi. God bless you. How close are you with Kandria? Well, like this. Me and my Chomi, we are not, bra. My Chomi and I are very close, you know. I would love to say we're generally very close because I'm able to go to her and open up about things. Even if I haven't seen her for a week, I, can, I still know that I'm able to call my bra. I'm able to go to her and speak about things that are on my heart. And she's also able to do the same thing. So I feel like we're genuinely good. We are wonderful. Me and my other chum is also. Um, how is life treating you currently? Life is throwing hands. You know, a lot of things are happening. Things are like getting out of hand and I'm not able to control them. And I feel like that was stressing me a lot. But also, it's teaching me. And let me show you. Like, I just want to be content with some of the things and just be like able to understand that I'm not able to change things sometimes. I Like, this is why I have some of these things. I hope you can see. And you can, and what else I, what else do I have I? And some other nice things, bruh. I think this also, I don't know, it's not necessary. But yeah, you know, um, sometimes you are at your happiest and then you are at your lowest. And then I'm just trying to teach myself to just still be grateful because God is still amazing despite what it is that you're going through. Um, what are you, what are my pet peeves? I'm Dana. Oh, you guys, don't ask me questions, brah. You guys just check my channel, then you wait, bye. Hmm. But it's fine. <laughs> what are my pet peeves? My pet peeves include, I don't like to be shouted at. Check me and my chummies, we shout at each other, like, for fun. Like, it's a fun thing. Like, we know when we're joking or whatever, but don't shout at me when you're, like, being genuinely serious. Don't shout at me because one thing about me is I'll catch and I might cry also. I don't like being mistreated because i would like to believe that i don't that i don't mistreat people and even if i do do something to you i would love like i would love to believe that i've created an atmosphere or a relationship with most of the people in my life to say that you're allowed to come and tell me that no blink you did this and i did not like it and then i'll rectify it and i love to work on myself i love to be the type of person who's able to accommodate you like it's not always about me and what i want you know from our friendship it should also be about you you know what is it that you don't like and I continuously do it and I should work on it. So I'm also able to be a better person for you, basically. My other pet peeves is... I don't know what other pet peeves I have, you know. Guys, I feel like I genuinely do not know myself too well. And that's because I remember telling somebody I'm unfortunately like a delusional person sometimes. Because I try to... I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to face reality, brah. And I feel like... Yeah. 
so when i'm not facing reality then i'm not able to know some things like i don't know i don't know how to explain myself to people are you an introvert or an extrovert are you an introvert or an extrovert person i am an extrovert but uh, as of lately no i'm still an extrovert i do love to be around people i do love the idea of interacting with people but you know i'm in a space where i don't go out that much anymore like i don't do, i don't go to clubs i don't go to spaces like that just because i feel like most of the time i would go there is because oh people are going there let me also go there but i could be there and i'm not really like at my happiest so i genuinely my heart does not want to be there so now in my head right now what i was about to say i was going to say no i'm an introvert just because i don't go out to spaces like that but i still do love the idea of going out with friends or doing some wholesome activities so i do believe i am an extrovert i love engaging with people you know i'm just not spaces like clubs and all that and parties they're not my type of place you know i'm just in my wholesome era guys like i want to be at home with my chummies and just like hang or just me alone also enjoy my own space watch my youtube videos and just like yeah i love the person i'm becoming i'm i'm so like i'm in awe as to how much i've grown and how i continue growing and it's so amazing and one day i will be able to share and say this is what i was talking about you know and give you a proper testimony as to how things are just good man even when things look bad i think i'm they are good especially with how you are able to handle them as a person oh i should now as you guys not asked me that many questions so those were the only questions that i received i feel like maybe you also did not take it seriously because also to be honest i posted a lot of ask me questions and i haven't done anything about it so that's an apology from my side we'll do like a part two at some point in my life but not like now now like a part two of get to know me um in terms of the story time that i did and you guys keep harassing me about it the one about medusa them and all that i will do a part two with time good things come to people who wait so don't worry don't worry what else do i want to address um yeah man i need you guys like not i need thank you guys I want to say thank you so much, you know, because you guys are continuously, like, supporting me. And we keep growing, you know. And this is where I was going to say I need you guys to kindly please help me continue sharing. Get people to watch, you know, so that we grow the family. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway at 5K. We are at 3 point something now. You know, we are close to 4K. Once we are at 4K, we are at 5K. Then, then I feel like I'm, 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 like, able to do something for you. I want to do something for you, you know, to say here's a giveaway. You win this, Meskin. Uh, a native child hamper with something oh <coughs> guys i want a sun lamb hamper oh i thought it's a ten sun lamb but yeah i want a sun lamb hamper so maybe to me i go to sun lamb and say salam sponsor my people on youtube you know but yeah i want to give away something yeah i want to give away something to you guys because you've been genuinely supportive and genuinely sweet um please don't forget to like I'm kindly asking you to please like, please do subscribe. Don't forget to comment. I love when you guys comment. Please comment anything that you wanted to say. Maybe there was a part in the video where you're like, oh, mm -mm. there you were wrong. Comment, guys. Don't be shy. I really want you guys to comment. Please comment. But yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. I'm working. I'm working on us. Please bear with me. But I'm going to try to post more as well. I, I feel like I've been doing well. I just missed that Sunday. But we're working on that. You know, I'm going to work on being consistent. Also uploading content that you want to see and not what I think I am only able to do or so. But yeah, so far I know of like, oh, I owe you guys a skincare routine. <laughs> is my skin giving up? Like right now. Because sometimes it's giving, sometimes it's not. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Skincare morning routine somebody said morning a day in my life like as a student and some other nice things yeah i will definitely work on that and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you so much don't forget to subscribe go comment go and comment i'm so fake guys like i feel like me sometimes i'm fake on youtube because for some reason i feel like my coping mechanism is just acting weird because why are you acting weird why are you shouting to the camera go comment
Gotta talk to a couple lies just to keep you away 